A father in Kentucky has been criticized for dressing his five-year-old son up as Hitler. The Halloween costume was posted on social media by Bryant Goldbach. He says originally he did it for historical purposes, but now admits this was probably a bad idea. Not everybody has the devotion to living history that I have. It's, I don't know how else to put it. Okay, first off, I don't think we should be calling that a costume, all right? That was a uniform, okay? <laughs> Costumes are things you can buy at Walmart. That shit is something you discover in a storage unit in Argentina. That's what that was. <laughs> and can I say, can I just say, it's pretty clever how he dressed himself up as a regular Nazi, but dressed his kid as Hitler. <laughs> it's like he just wanted an excuse in case things went wrong. He'd be like, look, I was just following orders. I mean, <laughs> he came up with the master plan. That's not me. There's just so many reasons that it's a terrible idea to dress a little kid as Hitler. Like, someone could see the kid walking around and be like, baby Hitler, this is my chance. <laughs> oh, oh, and speaking, and speaking of baby Hitler, uh, President Trump is in the news again. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Uh, don't boo, vote, here's some asparagus. This time, President Trump is in the news. He doesn't need a special day to scare people. He does it every day. And, and his latest trick, his latest trick has everyone spooked. President Trump believes his signature is enough to stop what's known as birthright citizenship, established in the 14th Amendment, which says all persons born or naturalized in the United States are citizens. They're saying I can do it just with an executive order. Now, how ridiculous, we're the only country in the world where a person comes in, has a baby, and the baby is essentially a citizen of the United States for 85 years with all of those benefits. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And it has to end. Wow. So Trump, so Trump, Trump plans to single-handedly change the Constitution. That's like hearing that War and Peace is gonna be edited by Guy Fieri. That's what that sounds like to me. Because basically, Trump wants to make it so that if your parents aren't American, and then you're born here, you won't automatically be American anymore. And honestly, part of me thinks that Trump is only doing this because he's hoping it'll kick his kids out. <laughs> it's just like, he's just gonna be out there like, sorry, Eric, so sorry, Eric. Your mom was an immigrant. You gotta go, Eric, you gotta go. It's like, oh, Dad, come on. That's not fair, Dad. That's not fair. How come Ivanka gets to stay? There's a hotness exception. I didn't write the law, but you totally did. Take him away, boys. Take him back to Mexico. <laughs> now, obviously, obviously, let's be real, folks. Uh, you don't need to be a genius to realize that Trump's not talking about babies that come from Norwegian JJs. No. <laughs> He wants to white out the Constitution so that he can whiten America. That's what he's planning to do here. Unfortunately, though, for him, unfortunately for him, there are some people who read who disagree with him. Of course, he can't do that. The reason? The Constitution. It's very clear that an executive order or executive action cannot do it by itself. I'm also a constitutional law professor, and by no means could the president unilaterally amend the Constitution. Republican House Speaker Paul Ryan said the president cannot change current law by himself. Well, you obviously cannot do that. Uh, you cannot end birthright citizenship with an executive order. Wow, Paul Ryan finally standing up to Donald Trump? Wow. Wow. I guess. I guess for Halloween, he's going as someone with balls. Look at that. Damn, Paul Ryan. Damn.